Hi there, this is Martin. Uh, this is my first ever instructional video that I'm posting to YouTube. And it may seem a bit silly uh, to do a, a video on a topic as simple as this, but uh, I think that it could be helpful to a lot of people, um, especially people who have had long-standing uh, relationships with their cable and internet providers. Um, so I just recently moved apartments and um, as part of the move, I had to sever ties with my old cable company. Uh, they don't provide service in my new neighborhood. And they were, of course, most adamant that I return the router uh, to them, the one that I've been using for the last probably six or seven years. I've been with the company for, wow, over 15 years. And I know that the router I've had uh, with Optimum, I've had for at least six or seven. In any event, um, they were most adamant that I return it to them. And so I want to do an instructional video on how to properly return a router to the internet company. Now, again, this might seem like a silly thing. You know, you say, okay, no problem. You got the router, you got a box, just throw it in the box and send it back. But it's not that simple because if you talk to the uh, cable co company, uh, in this case, if you talk to Optimum, uh, they will be most adamant uh, that you return it because to them it's very valuable. And so I want to take the proper care and time uh, to package the device securely um, so that it retains all of its value um, as it uh, arrives uh, to Optimum. So I have, the, um, I have the label that I printed out. This is from FedEx. Uh, there's a little sheet that goes inside the package. And then there's, of course, the packing materials. Um, I, I, I'm actually using a few things. I'm, I've got some crates, got some bubble wrap, some additional paper stuffing, some various foam boards, and let me wrap these as well. Um, this is all other stuff that you can use uh, that maybe you have have lying around the house. It's a protective sleeve. And then I've got some styrofoam boards as well. So we're gonna do this fairly quickly, but um, we're gonna also do it very carefully because again, this is valuable equipment and we wanna make sure that nothing is damaged on the way to Optimum. So first thing you do, take your box. This is a pretty standard U-Haul box. Before I do anything, before I do anything at all with the router itself, I want to line the box with the styrofoam padding. Now, this is going to go in the bottom. So do one, do a second one, good measure. And then I'm going to line the walls of the box with the styrofoam. And try to get this you know, relatively tidy. Again, it's not going to be perfect, but we just want to make sure that they are protected. So we're going to end up with something like that. So we're going to line the box with the styrofoam. And now, the router itself is a fairly delicate plastic casing. We want to make sure it doesn't get scratched. Um, so what I first want to do is wrap it in a protective material to make sure that it doesn't get damaged in any way. And I also have some masking tape, or packing tape rather. So we're gonna take the packing tape, we wanna get this nice and tight around the wrapper. And we'll probably do it once around the side and then over the top. And it's really important that we get it both ways. Because this way, they'll see what a caring customer is. I'm not just gonna. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, so that's, this is step one. Now there's, <laughs> There's a lot of steps, but now what we want to do, I think what we'll probably do next is we'll get the bubble wrap. So here, we're going to do this in a circular spiral type motion. 
Again, as before with the tape, you want to make sure that this is all secure. good for the size. I'm just going to do as before once over on the top. Of course, if you feel that you want to do more, you're more than welcome to. I'm just trying to, for the purposes of this video, make it relatively easy to follow and not overly time consuming. Okay, so this is like our base packaging. Now, I think what we probably should do is get this into the crate. Now, this is not a perfectly fitted crate. This, I think, was actually for a cable modem, but we'll kind of make it fit, and then we'll do some more tape to, yeah, I think that'll be good. All right, so, actually, you know what? No, we're gonna go for the, I think we need some more bubble wrap. We're gonna go for some more bubble wrap first. And one sheet here, put another sheet on top. And let's do one more for good measure. Again, you can't be too secure with these delicate pieces of internet equipment, which again, I would have gladly held on to as a memento, but um, the company was quite quite insistent that it be returned to them. So I want to make sure that I'm doing that expeditiously and most importantly, safely. All right, so. We can get the sides and now I think you're getting the hang of this. The idea is a lot of bubble wrap and a lot of tape. Uh, so now we're gonna go again over the top. Basically creating a padded football. Um, not that I would recommend you throw this because again, it is extremely delicate. Um, okay, so we've got the padding. Now let's get in the crate. In order for this to work, I think we're gonna have to get some rope. I was hoping that we weren't gonna have to use the rope, but it just, it looks necessary because the dimensions of the crate would suggest that some rope, at least some rope is necessary here. So let's see what we can quickly do to make this work. All right, this is probably about five feet. I think, you know what, I think for starters, I think we'll, we'll be good with this. All right, so make a cut here. And I'm gonna try to get this. And again, just still making sure that this fits in the box because what you don't wanna do is over pad it and then have to look for an even bigger box. All right, so tie this. Now, you know, I was never in the Boy Scouts. I think if I was, I might have a little bit of an easier time with this, but this should do. We're gonna do it side, top, and then we're gonna go back in, cross underneath, Oh, that looks good. Yeah, I think ooh, they're going to be happy with this. They're going to see that this is a customer who did not take it lightly and want to make sure that I was doing everything I could to protect Optimum's property. All right, so this, and then we're going to go in Guys, I think, I think you'll be happy. You'll be happy that we're, uh, we're taking these steps because 
this is now quite secure. All right, so this can go in. That'll go in. Well, you know what? I feel like we still need some more stuff. So let me do this. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna take care of the, now the power, it's very important. You wanna keep this an entirely separate container from that because the metal prongs on the AC power uh, can definitely do a lot of damage in transit. So we're gonna make sure that this is entirely separate. Got some paper here, we're gonna wrap this up. A few times in paper. And once that's there, now we can kind of take this up and I think you guys are probably getting the hang of this by now. It's paper, tape, bubble wrap, tape, tape, paper, wrap, and then rope, and then styrofoam on the inside of the packaging. So we've got this now. Oh, this looks great. This is... They're gonna be really happy when they get this because they'll see this is this customer's not screwing around. This one, this one over here understands the value of this equipment. Alright, so now we got that. Now I think just for good measure, let's get this in the bubble wrap. So we've got the adapter in the bubble wrap, and we're gonna go once again to the tape making sure that it is securely packaged. Oh, yes. Oh, that's great. All right. So, got that. And, you know, I just want to make sure that the tape has a little notch in it, just because we're going to probably need, need this some more. Okay, so now, now I think we're in good shape. Now we can go to our little protective pouch. Put this in. All right. So here, this, and again, we're just again always making sure it can still fit in the box because. We don't want to have to then resort to a bigger box. All right, so here, we're going to get this going. Oh, yeah. can see this on the camera but this this is now a very very secure router so we're gonna put this in into our box and we've also got the adapter which we're still gonna you know what I'm still I'm not completely happy with this I want to get this in a little bit more wrapping paper just I don't know I just you know sometimes FedEx can be a bit aggressive and we just want to make sure this is all good all right this i think will do it this is pretty good now so i'm gonna just tape this up you guys could probably all do this yourself at this point i'm sure oh that's good that is nice all right so we've got the router, got the adapter, and one important step. So when you print out the shipping label, they want to make sure that you also include this little barcoded item inside the package. Um, so I'm going to put that in. Now the last thing, and this is really, this is, well, this is one of the last items. It's maybe not necessary, but for me, given that it's the end of a meaningful relationship with Optimum, I'm actually sending them a letter as well. I won't go into the details, it's a bit personal and private, but I'm gonna put both of these items um, into the package. So we've got the barcode, we've got my personal signed letter, and then this is gonna go in, and 
gonna put in some more, some more cushioning paper. And I think that's good. I think we can actually close this up now. So we're gonna close this up. I don't think there's anything else. No, I think that's good. I'm gonna seal this up. And now one thing that actually here I gotta I gotta make this a little bit better. One moment. All right, so we've got our box, and you'll notice that here on the sides of the box we have some room that we can write on. We just wanna make sure that, and, and, and for this I would suggest using a heavy duty Sharpie marker. Uh, we're gonna write the words fragile, and just to be really clear, we're gonna say cable, company equipment and on this side we're going to write do not drop or kick or throw and then just to be very clear about who which cable company this is because there's a lot of them out there, we're gonna say property of optimum. All right, so that's how you do it, folks. That's how you package for return a valuable wireless router to return to optimum. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and best of luck out there with all of your cable company, internet company, entanglements and endeavors. All right, take it easy.